Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your monthly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, you've got expectation as what's going on for you this month. You've got gift as your advice and house as the outcome. So it looks like whatever you are expecting, you're going to get it. The universe is gifting it to you. That is the advice here for you. If this is a new relationship, if this is rekindling, if this is reconciliation, reunion is going to happen. If this is that you're actually waiting for maybe money, taxes, loan, inheritance, other people's money to get a house, you're going to get it. Whatever this is, it looks like you're going to be in high demand. You're going to get what you want. All eyes on you. You're going to get public recognition for a job well done. Let's clarify expectation here. You've been expecting this thing, this opportunity, this approval, this yes answer for maybe one to two years. Yeah, the three of wands. It's like you're expecting communication. Uh, you're expecting the opportunity to take the lead, to move on something, to... Um, actually move this could even be moving like moving across town moving across seas moving something or moving somewhere if you will with the three of wands this is also um having put out all of this magical energy doing all of this stuff and now you're going to see some type of um, manifestation of all the energy that you put out this is also maybe separation between you and someone where there's a third party you could have been the third party, but now it looks like somebody's going to come back and communicate or this is what you're doing. Clarify gift. We've got the hangman. All right. So it's like um, you're just waiting. You just knew this also talks about secretive relationship here. I don't know if you knew that this person had to take a break from you and then come back because they have a family or they have something or they have something that they need to iron out that they need to fix or that they were tying themselves in knots about or that they were really tiring themselves out in regards to trying to you know uh do so much contort their energy contort themselves this talks about the contortionist so this is somebody who was doing a lot to make something work it could have been you it could have been the other person now it's talking about taking a step back um hanging around and waiting for also, this could be hanging around waiting for the money or the approval, the yes answer, the inheritance, the tax, the loan, the signing of the agreement. Clarify house here. Something is arriving or departing from you. Some of you want to sell a house. You're going to get the offer that you will accept. Some of you want to buy a house. You will find the house that you want. You will get a yes answer here. Three of Pentacles. Aries, it's like the best reading. It says working in tandem together. All things are working together for those who um, love the Lord, who 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 understand um, universal power. This is also you working with other people to make something happen here. It says that whatever you were doing or whatever you are doing, again, public recognition for it, for a job well done. Um, you could be getting some type of promotion, accolades on your job. This is also third party situation somebody's going to put you first you've been doing this for a while or someone's going to give you time or they're going to give you energy or they're going to recognize you for hanging in there or hang man hanging in there hanging around um with the third party situation they're going to make something work here you have the four of pentacles definitely they're holding on to you you're holding on to them this could be a relationship that you know, the growth is stunted because maybe they're already in something. It's like you're waiting for change. You're waiting around for it. You didn't give up. You're not giving up. Whether this is about a relationship or about maybe getting some finances in here. It said newfound wealth. That's good. You newfound wealth when you buy a house. Now you are, um, you're a home or land owner. You're a real estate owner. So newfound wealth also, it talks about stagnant, stuck relationship without growth it talks about deep-seated issues not letting something go holding on to it for dear life for whatever reason you have 
this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you.